Okay, hi everyone. I'm recording in my fake voice because I've just add the plugins. Let's say if I just disable all the plugins. So you're hearing my real voice and the actual sound that I'm hearing right now. I'm trying to show you a way to record in OBS Studio so that you don't need to do any post processing. First of all, we have to download the OBS Studio. Basically, you just go here and click download. In you can just follow the instruction on the screen. So I assume you've just finished your download. The second step is to tweak your system audio setting. Let's go to the system audio here. Left click the recording device. For the recording device, you can set any input device as the default input system. Usually, I won't set it to my microphone because I have more flexibility to do post-processing. But that's just my case. If you don't want to do post-processing, you can feel free to just set your mic as input. And for the playback, I simply check the device that I want to hear to, and usually it is the default speakers. So now let's go to the OBS setting. Simply go to audio, select the sample rate, channels, whatever. Two main important things to speakers. Oh, sorry. I mean the desktop audio. You can disable it. It all depends on what driver you, you're using. If you're using the voice meter, um, that I just shown in the other video. You probably don't need the desktop device, but usually you set it to your speakers or whatever device that you want to hear to. And the second one is the microphone. In this case, I'm setting it to my Zoom H1. And I'm turning on the fan right now, but I'm not going to let you hear the real environment until like during my testing time. After you set this up in audio, you go to output. And from output, you go to recording. You see this grayed out because I'm recording with, with the OBS right now, so I can't change. But usually, your output mode has to be in advance. You can take whatever number of tracks you want. It's just for post-processing. Because due to the frame rates, you might get some out of sync issues. Okay, so after it's done, and usually I, I just take all the audio tracks so that I can do the post processing afterwards. But if you don't, it's perfectly okay. Press okay, and you go to the next step. Next step is going to the advanced, and you select the monitoring device. Since I am hearing from my system speaker, so I select speakers. Once you're done, Click OK. From the main screen, you go to Mixer. What you see are the two input devices that I'm using. You can change the sync offset, like um, 200, whatever. But I'm not going to touch it because I'm recording with my OBS right now. You can change your audio monitoring to uh, of the mic, which is the Zoom H1, to monitor and output so that it's going to output to the channel 2. You can take whatever channel, you can take multiple channels as well. That is going to record and that's the basic setup. Right now I'm going to let you hear environment sound. So when you go to the mic, left click, you click filters, you see all this. Because I've just added the plugins. Let's say if I just disable all the plugins. So you're hearing my real voice and the actual sound that i'm hearing right now okay so what you're hearing is my real voice and i have just removed all the plugins here and you see none here right audio filter right now. so right now i'm going to show you how i add real-time effects to remove all the noise and also change my voice Before, uh, you have okay, to install so a free vsd plugin called reaplug let me show you i, I just forgot to add that 
Okay, just go and just Google it. Rear plot. Enter. And then just go here, Reaper. And then you go here, there it's a Reaper, Re the Reaper's official website. Go here. Just download whatever version that fits you. Um, since I'm using the 64-bit OBS and also my system, so I'm downloading, left click this one and you can follow the instruction. I'm not going to go deep for this one because I'm trying to show you how to do it in OBS mainly. So after you install the plugin, you go back to OBS Studio. And when you click your mic, go here, click filters. Go to the plus sign, left click it. And then left click the VST 2.x plugin. You see this dialog box? I'm just showing you my preference. You can have your own preference of fucking sequence. Uh, it's totally up to you what sequence you want to put in. Um, but I'm just showing you my preference here. And you see this? You just left click this. Let's say we use the reaffer, this one. I left click. Oh, excuse me. I left click this. And then I go to open plugin interface, this one. Click this one, you see the waveform here, right? And for the mode, um, because I have to stay silent to let the system record the environment, so you might not hear me say in the next few seconds. So first of all, go to mode and check subtract. You won't hear me when I click subtract, so I'll just let you know first. Okay, so um, let's say if you're happy with that, you can move on. I simply remove like most of the noise. I can let you hear the actual environment. This is the actual environment. And this is the effect of this plugin. Usually I'll add one more to cut to make sure that I cut off all the noise. So I add one more plugin. VST and this one is a rear gate. You can name it XYZ, but um, usually I use the same name, rear gate. And then I select the plugin, rear gate, open. Let's say if you move all the way up, you won't hear me say anything. But usually I will check it to negative 25, or if in extreme case you just change it to negative 20. Let's say I change it to negative 20. And you can also set the high pass, low pass, whatever. For high pass, I usually set it to 61. So and mostly it should be working fine, especially with my uh, Zoom H1. Um, I'm using this lavalier mic because, uh, hold on, maybe I just remove it. And you can hear the Zoom H1. It's going directly to the Zoom H1 without any other devices.
And I know because Zoom H1 is very sensitive. Even if I turn that off, you will still hear the environment. So that's why I don't change it. So let's say this is my real voice. And I go on. Oh, you see, because I can't. I have to go back to the reaffer. And you see this one, right? Because you can hear the noise. I have to go um, for the same profile again. But this time, I think I will use the lavalier mic. It's working better. The lavalier mic works better. Uh, yeah, it works better with uh, Zoom H1. Okay. So right now I'm going to change my voice. So I go back to add a plugin, the VST2. And uh, this one I just call it pitch. And again I'm using one, one of the rear plug. This is the one rear JS. I just discovered that yesterday for rear JS. It's pretty cool. And then open plugin interface. Simply load the plugin. And right now I'm using the pitch and the super pitch. Left click it. And then you will see this. I am going to change my voice. You can check the screen. It might have any like uh latency issue it might be going out of sync because i didn't do the same the same test before but i will leave it to you but mostly if you if you have a good computer you don't need to do like any same test before but since i'm using the asus laptop it might be like uh, it, i just don't have enough ram so it might be going out of sync yeah, I'm not going to add the, any part of this audio. So, so when you see me going out of saying it's perfectly understandable. Okay, so I just change and because I like my voice to uh, adjust, adjusting <laughs> and the usually I just go this negative two works fine for me. And the overlap size, yeah, you can do this overlap size. Overlap size, yeah. And you can play with the dry mix, wet mix, whatever. You can play around by yourself. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hold on. And I'm going to show you uh, some of my tips on doing this. Usually, I won't. I won't add any pitch because I just want to be real and I just don't want to like uh, using my voice over voice over voice. Let's do EQ. And you can again you can type whatever name you want. I just name it EQ and then I use this plugin. This is the simple rear EQ. You will see this. Okay, and your voice has nothing changed, but usually for the low end, I just the type I just use high pass to cut it off, and at around two hundred hertz, which is the horizontal axis, the two hundred hertz, I do a band like I just narrow the band, and then I lower the gain. You see the dip here, right, and you can do it like this. Usually I lower my uh, frequency here and I add some more on my mid, which is between 1000, 1K and 2K. Uh, just do a little bit like this. And I'm just doing it quickly. So when I do this, and I move, you can hear like uh, when you go this way, you can have clear voice. Okay, one, two, three, but just don't overdo it, just a little bit. And usually at around like 5,000, you will have like something called siblings. The siblings is 
about the S sound, so it's so you can you can see this part, right? So to be around the four, and we just go to it, go to four, and narrow down the bandwidth. Put down the gain. Oh, sorry. The type has to be like a band. Or simply put a notch. Yeah, just put a band. So next time when I do, it doesn't go as harsh as before. You can add a band and you can add some presence here. When you go way high here. So you get more sound, um, clearer sound. Uh, yeah, but I'm not doing it here because it it can take two hours, three hours to to tune your voice. Um, so I'm not going to do too much here. When I turn off the equalizer, it has some difference between my equalizer because I didn't do much. Sorry. So when you're done, just go close. And when, when you're ready, just hit the record button. Okay. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. So hopefully it can help. Thank you. Bye bye.